You know what? Uh, of course, uh, I was expecting a tough fight, but uh, you know what? Uh, I was I was ready for a tough tough fight. I was trying to make it make it easy. You know, work with the jab. But you see, Jamal is a is a great fighter. He uh, I was trying to cut the distance. You know, whatever I was coming in, he clocked me with something. So give me something to think. Yeah. So I jab and try to get inside and move, or get inside and don't stay. Oh, no. Punch and move. So, but was uh, was was a hard fight. He's he's a great fight. Uh, I have to think about this uh, if, if this this was maybe my the toughest fight but I was uh, like maybe uh, doing my career most ready for the for the fight yeah you seem to be more fluid you were keeping it you were actually using the jab to, to set up that right hand and you kept flipping them coming back up uh, I mean it, it, it's, that was what was working for you as it come on later and then you it seemed like later on in the fight he was starting to wear down from your constant pressure I yeah <laughs> he was but you know I I uh, uh, I caught him on the ropes a couple of times. I know I heard him, but and as I was coming, he clocked me with something, so I had to like pull a half step back, but not let him go. Try to keep fighting, you know. So, but he's a very dangerous fighter with many experience, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I um, uh, supposed to keep my hands up more and more. When I was keep the hands up, I was more relaxed because I knew I'm protected. And uh, whatever he clocked me with the shots on the gloves was good. But when I kept my hands down, he was punching me good. Oh, he clocked me with the good shots. Uh, we hope I prove it. I can take some punches. You know, uh, we we'll see. Go home, regroup, recuperate, and see what next. Yeah, I mean Jamal is a very slick fighter normally, and you just kept catching him, and he never got a chance to set a little bit. <laughs> that was a great plan. If I, uh, if you look, look, look his, uh, I didn't see too many his fight, but I was watching his fight. Yeah, and I, and I see uh, the fights. Uh, he dealing good with the pressure, but when you keep him more busy, you give him a little bit more to think. You know, I try, I trying to not uh, let him set the punches on me, but you know, uh, he's smart. He step back and uh, come back with something. So that that was that was a good experience for me. You know, but you know, also Chuck Mozaccio, light heavyweight. Uh, like uh, uh, I think may, maybe it was the same speed. You know, Chuck light heavyweight, but he Chuck is fast, good jab, and also mover. You know, yeah. so that was uh, Chuck gave me a good work. Also Carlos. And, uh, and, and other guys uh, gave me good work too, but most I was sparring with Chuck, so that, that was really beneficial for this fight. Uh -huh. uh, so what's next for you now? Oh, I gotta go home, recuperate. You know, I got a lot of decision to make, a lot of thinking to do. So uh, uh, I cannot tell right now what, what next. Um, how tough is Jamal Davis? Uh, from from zero to ten, eleven. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. Look, I was hitting him with so many right hands. I hate my hands, but it didn't bother me in fight. It, 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 it's pain. It's, it's swallow. I hit him so many times. You know, probably I didn't hit him on the point, but he can take a punch and he stuff. I see him tired, but but you know, he was relaxed and, and he was thinking. Whatever I try, uh, let it go. Come close. He caught me with something, you know, and make me a little bit step back. So, but I, you know. Uh, uh, I try to uh, stay in the fight, and uh, no matter what he hit me with, uh, just not let him hit me with the same punch. But it was really hard. You know, uh, do not do this. I came in late. First round, yeah. he was nailing your right hands. It looked like you went back to your corner. You figured him out, and you came out, and you kind of took over. I'd say at that point, he had, he came back in the fourth, and then it was you know all you. You know, <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, I liked after like around the eighth round, you guys acknowledged each other. You know, it was nice. So. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a tough fight, of course. You're a machine. Uh, we, uh, we're not, uh, we, we're friends right now, I respect. This guy cannot get your last name right. You I said Mayevsky. He, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. he does that all the time to me. Uh -huh. Great job. Yeah. Like, how, you seem to be in amazing shape for this fight, and you, you look sharper than uh, I've seen you in the past. Like, you know, how, uh, that's, that's how was the training camp? The great, you know, we had the uh, eight weeks camp since the new year. Uh, my, I was afraid uh, because my shoulder, I had the muscle tear, but didn't need the surgery. I was doing rehabilitation with this, you know, uh, uh, guys, uh, rehabilitation and my camp really helped me with this. I hurt my leg, but it was nothing major, you know, it is, it's a small thing. We all boxers, we all have a, a you know, small thing. So, uh, first uh, two weeks on the camps, I didn't uh, hit too much heavy backs, only double end back and pets with the coach. Then we start, when as I build up a little bit this muscle, I uh, start uh, punching more, 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 and more. Uh, camp, camp was great, because we do uh, three times a, a week morning conditioning and running, and you know, and, and in the gym, you know, all my team, they're they pushing, they pushing me hard, you know, uh, we're going back and forward, but, uh, you know, they're they listen, they listening, they, uh, some, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, like, 
I maybe don't say I'm a hard person to work with, but I'm really sometimes getting easy to aggravate it. But they, they, they come and they're helping me. Okay, Patrick, let's do this, let's do, let do this. And, you know, that's, that's all come out. You know, the success is an effect of preparation. That's, that's how we work. Well, these and two I, guys can understand Polish. You might be in trouble. <laughs> no, but, but, you know, I tell you, I tell you what, the, fa the funny thing, that uh, working eight years with my trainer, you know what, he really figured it out every game, like, uh, we had a small barrier of a language, yeah, but you know he find a way to explain it to me what I'm doing wrong. He's mimicking me. So let's say I'm jabbing and poking my head. He was like, "Look, Patrick, what do you do?" He's like, "You jabbing like that." Come and this way, I said, "Ah, okay, that's what he meant." Because sometimes when he say like really in proper language, it's hard for me to catch it. But he got his way to explain it to me. And you know, it's a many trainer, but it's not many teachers in the boxing. This is a teacher. Well, in his sleep, sometimes he's <laughs> yeah. known to say, Polska, "Yeah, Polska, Polska. <laughs> Patrick, come on, keep your hands up, <laughs> motherfucker, you." <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, yeah guys. Congratulations. Yo, guys. Uh, thank, thank you, you for coming. Thank, 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 thank you for your support. For, for Great. people who yeah. might not know your trainer, um, could you say what your name is? Uh, Bill Johnson. Oh, yeah. Bill Johnson. How, how long have you been doing this? Oh, oh, about okay. 40 years. Uh, you got to remember his son, Levander Johnson, the uh, lightweight, <laughs> lightweight, champion, lightweight champion of the world. You know. I'll be the uh, lightweight yeah. champion of the world, Levander Johnson. That was my son. I trained him from eight mm -hmm. until the championship. And, you know, and his son, when I came so green to the gym, he was I'll so, tell you, yeah. let me go, I'll tell you a story. Uh -huh. My son was in the gym training for a fight. Levanta was training. And Patrick had just came in the gym. About He's been there about, uh, not quite a year, a little less, maybe a year at the most. And I said to Levanta, I said, what do you think about that guy there? What do you think about him? His old dad, he didn't fight. I said, okay, start working. <laughs> yeah. right. that's, that's a great story. All right. Um, I look forward to, uh, you know, his future fights, you know, keep it up like he's this. Grown. Um, he's yeah, grown. yeah, I saw, I I saw improvements he's a, tonight. He, he, he started late in the, in the game, but he's a good student, and he listens, and he tries everything I asked him to try to do. He'll try to do it. He does it, and uh, he goes back and works on it, and he's constantly working and trying to improve. He never thinks that, oh, I got this. He's always trying to improve, which is good, because it's a continuous learning process. Okay. Everybody. Well, I'll be checking out this next fight for sure. All right. Okay.